Thomas Tuchel, I think, has lost his second game in his whole career at Chelsea against Fortetta's Arsenal. We have lost, who has been absolutely shite this season, absolutely waste this season. But some of the fans are really angry about and are really upset. I really don't understand why. Because if you see the history, the last time Arsenal came at Stamford Bridge and defeated Chelsea was in 2011 and 2012. And I know what happened that season. You know what happened that season. In 2011 season, that season Arsene Wenger's Arsenal came at Stamford Bridge and scored 5 past uh, Andre Villas boss Chelsea. 5 past. Robin Van Persie I think scored a hat-trick that uh, match. It was 3 all. Then suddenly Robin Van Persie came and scored off 2 goals and went off back home. So that time it was a very charged up match it was. Hyped up match it was because it was beginning of the season, initial phase of the season. Full pumped up match, fans were allowed inside the stadium and it was very hyped up match. Too good match it one was. But this match was like one dead match. I really don't know what nonsense was that match. Means our players gave 100% effort, full efforts they have given, everything they have given. They have made some 14 attempts in the match. But bad luck, bad luck. Arsenal has just defended brilliantly, have to say that. They just parked the bus and it was their right to park the bus because they didn't have any much attacking options. So that was the only way to go about. So that's what they have to do it. But we couldn't break down their defense. Leno, their goalkeeper also played really well. But our players gave our 100% effort. One critical chance we got in the match in the 10th minute where Kai Havertz was 1 to 1 chance. That Pablo Mari lost the ball and Kai Havertz was running, 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 running. That was a chance to get hold of the game and control the game. If we would have got that goal, maybe we would have sealed the match then and there itself. But instead of shining bright like a diamond, he became German James Charles. And that ball... He shot the ball from Stamford Bridge, it went flying to Heathrow Airport. It went to the airport. Like that. Really disappointing that one was. That chance should have been taken. And this is the problem with uh, Chelsea Football Club and it might bite us in the Champions League Finals. In 2011 and 2012, we had Didier Drogba, Frank Lampard and all those players who used to get one chance and used to convert that chance. But here we are getting 5-6 chances and we are converting only one chance. Out of 5 attempts, we are converting only 1 chance. But in 2011-2012 uh, season, that season, match winners, brutal match winners. 1 chance, direct goal. Drogba in the finals, 1 chance he got, header. Then after that Kai Havas chance, the way we considered the goal, you will get tuberculosis if you are a Chelsea fan. You will get measles if you are a Chelsea fan. It was like as if Jorginho is gifting uh, chicken biryani and mutton biryani to Arsenal on Eid. It was like that. What nonsense was that? Even school boys will not make such mistakes. Even under 13s and under 17s will not make such mistakes. Horrible, horrendous, horrendous that one was. Shocking, absolutely shocking. It was like as if someone has given axe to Georginia and he chopped up his own legs. It was like that. He has to take his responsibility for that goal. He has to take responsibility for that. He has to chin up and uh, improve in the next game. Really, that was a shocking, shocking, shocking mistake. Kepa Aprakadabra has no chance at all, no chance, nothing. Can't blame him. Really, lack of communication led to that goal. Really. Yeah. Horrible, horrible, horrendous. Then after that, we considered that blunder. We got a lot of chances. Mason Mount got two clear-cut chances. One he hit straight at the defender and another Leno saved well. Two clear-cut chances he got. Then Pulisic got a chance, but uh, he hit straight to Leno. Then after that, in the 89th minute, clear cut chance we got yet, clear cut chance. We hit the post twice. We hit the post twice. There we understood that luck is not in our side. Today is an Arsenal day. Sometimes you have to hold your hand up and give to Almighty and say that today is not our day and just go away. After giving 100%, after giving 100%, and if you, luck is not in your side, then you cannot do anything. Similarly, that only happened. But we should have not considered that goal and Kai Havertz should have finished that chance. 